Hi guys, welcome back to Clever Style. Don't get inappropriate. So a couple weeks ago, we tried Shein fashion items for the first time on Clever Style. There were some hits and some, what is the opposite of a hit? Ooh, ah! A strike? A ball. Man, sports metaphors, I shouldn't be using them. We just found out that Shein has a home section. Say what? What? Now I could sit here and tell you that I didn't know Shein had a home section, but I totally did. And honestly, just looking around my house right now, I have so much Shein decor in this house, it's kind of ridiculous. I love looking at the Shein home decor section. Even this pillowcase right next to me is from Shein. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you our home haul, review it, test it, see how it is styled in our homes. Don't you think this looks like an English phone? I think it looks like garbage. And then see if it's worth it. And we're gonna rank them based on quality, credibility, and value. And for credibility, we're testing to see whether it is as good of a quality as it looks like on the website. And of course, we have to use emojis. So I'm gonna use the face emoji with the star eyes because that's how I feel every single time I get anything new that's home decor for my house. The emoji I'm going to use is the mind blown emoji because what? I'm gonna do the guy with the phone in his hand looks like he's about to send a cart because that's what I hope you guys do for some of these items because I'm already taking a peek and some of them are really, really good. There is so much stuff in their home section. I really, really hope that we have some winners here today because that would be amazing. The room that I chose to reorganize and decorate is my kitchen. The first thing we got here is this little marble storage box set. Comes with three, they are white and they have these like copper accents, which matches the aesthetic in my kitchen. So I wanted it to be countertop, which it is. I, I don't know, I guess I thought these would be more like more sealed. I had really wanted to be able to kind of put Godric's like treats in here, things that I wanted quick access to, but now looking at this, I think they would go bad. So that's kind of unfortunate. I always have to like compare everything to things that I get from Amazon or Target. So a $42 marble, three marble box set. It doesn't even do what I want it to do. For quality, this is, it is nice. It, it's like, I feel like it's probably porcelain or ceramic or whatever. It doesn't feel like plastic. So that's good. The wood feels like wood. Whether or not that means it's wood, I am not sure. I'm not a wood expert. Quality I think is, is right there. So I would give this five mind blowns for quality. For credibility, yes. It looks exactly like it does on the on its picture. Yeah, five mind blowns for credibility. It's exactly what it said it was going to be. Value, that's where I'm gonna, it's gonna lose some points with value. I don't think this is worth $42. $42 seems really high when you take into account all the other things I am about to show you that were not even more than $10. So for value, this one's gonna get a three. I'm gonna give it a three mind loans for value. I decided to focus my haul on our living room. It's the room we spend the most amount of family time in. Like Harrison's favorite room is the living room. Okay, so I have a minor, major obsession with shelving. I also have an obsession with Tupperware, and I think that the two go hand in hand. So this first item is an iron hexagon shaped uh, shelving system that I got from Shein. It is $14, and I will tell you right now, just looking at it, I can definitely see some things that I'm not too happy about. So there are a couple pieces of this iron that's like kind of scratchy. Uh, from far away, it looks great, and I don't even think it would pose an issue like up on the wall, but overall, I like the design of it I like the shape of it a lot uh, and I really think this is super cute like it's kind of different and kind of interesting for shelving let's see here so I think for quality I'd give it right in the middle just because I am a little concerned with the sharp edges on this three star faces <laughs> and then for accuracy and credibility I do think it looks exactly the way it did on the website obviously they're not giving you like up close and personal images you know uh, I'll give it a four out of five and then for value 14 bucks for this it's tough because I'm cheap. Uh, I'll give it a right in the middle of the frame. So not the greatest start, but I haven't lost hope just yet. 
I picked items that would help me kind of freshen up my living room. So I felt like these Shein items could maybe make it a little nicer. The first thing on my haul is something that I think might be the most, ex one of the most expensive things that I ordered. It is this throw. Ah! Benji has taken over every throw blanket in this house. He likes to drag it around, chew it up, tear it apart, sleep on it, fart on it, do all the things that dogs do. And so I'm really sick and tired of not having a throw that's mine. So I ordered this one and it was actually one of the cheaper options because some of the throws are a little pricey. But I was so surprised at how good this throw blanket is. It's really soft. It is kind of thin. I kind of like that for a throw blanket because you don't want it to be too hot where you're like sweating. This one has this kind of like sweater vibe going on. It's very, very thin. And if you gave this to me as like a gift, I would think this came from a very like expensive, nice place, mostly because it's so, so for quality, I'm gonna say this is a five add to cart emojis because it really is a lot nicer than I expected it to be. And it's, I would pay more for this in a store. So really nice, super great quality, credibility. I think it looks even better than it did on the website. So I'm gonna give it five add to cart emojis as well. And for value, I'm going to say it is a, you could buy something like this at a store for a similar price. Oh, this one's hard. I think it's a four add to cart emojis. I wouldn't pay more for it, but I think it's probably priced just about right. Look at these cute little eucalyptus stems. Okay, so these little stems were $3 for a pack of two. What I keep running into with Sheen is just these very bright green stems stems that look very plasticky, but the leaves I think are more important and they look great. They look great on one side. This green side looks very real, but it's one-sided. So the other side looks a little more fake. I don't hate it. $3 for two eucalyptus stems? Where are we gonna put it? So I also got this marble green plant pot. Let's review these items together. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We take the pot, bada bing. We take the stem, I'm just gonna bend it. Bear with me, this looks insane, okay? But I have a vision. That might be as good as it's gonna get. What do we think? Cause I was thinking, wow, this would look really pretty right next to my sink. That's nice, that's not bad, right? That looks great. So the stems, let's rate the stems. That is beautiful. I'm giving that one a five across the board. Quality, it's fine, it's $3. I've seen more expensive artificial plants look way faker. So quality, we're gonna give it a five. Credibility, it looks like the website. Value, $3, five. Five across the board for the eucalyptus plants. This little marble pot, we haven't really talked about it, but it's adorable. I'm really happy with this. I wish it was rose gold, they just didn't have it. Marble jar is getting a four for quality, five for credibility, looks just like the website. Marble plant stand was $14, the eucalyptus stems were $3 both. So all together, this is $17. Yeah, I think for value, $14 for this little marble stand feels a little high when I'm comparing it to Target. So I'll give it a three for value, but overall, this is cute, I'm very happy with it. I like it and I'll keep it. It's going in the kitchen. That's a little win. You stay right there, you little fake plant. Okay, so my next two items are serious obsessions of mine. So I got two planters. This first one was actually my favorite item that I found on Shein. Look how cute. This is a little planter. It is a ceramic pot with an iron stand. It comes in three colors. It is $12. And I honestly feel like the quality for this is so good. I think that this is so freaking cute. For quality, I would have to give this a five. I think for a ceramic pot, this is like really good. And then for accuracy and credibility, I was so nervous about this one because I was like, okay, I love this so much. And if it showed up looking anything different than what I saw online, I was going to be really disappointed. But I think it looks exactly the way it does online. And I'm so happy. It is super Super accurate because I was obsessed with it now and I'm even more obsessed that I have it. All right, so for credibility, I would also give this a five. And then for value, 12 bucks for this planter. Heck yeah, I think this is so cute. So I think I'd have to give this a five. This is a perfect score planter. Fives across the board, times three. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Can you turn that open for me? I can't. Yeah, you take that side and I'll take this side. <laughs> okay, that's not efficient. Next is this little crystal. You can hang it up by a little string. There's like a little slot here for a string or a rope or 
like a little dental floss or something and you can hang it at your window and because it's a prism yes it kind of sh shoots rainbows all across your room which we're shooting this in the month of june so hello pride month it's also really cool for photos i've seen other influencers or youtubers like best dress she had some of these in her apartment it's very small i think it was only a couple of dollars but it actually feels really good it's heavy it feels heavy duty i almost bought one of these on amazon for like 15 dollars, but i think this one was only a couple of bucks okay, if i'm gonna rank these puppies Oh, I love these so much. I'm gonna give it five add to cart emojis across the board for quality, really heavy duty, really well made. Credibility, we gotta go five add to cart emojis. And for value, we definitely go five add to cart emojis because these are way more expensive on other websites. So if you're gonna get these, you have to get them on Shein. All right, so this is another thing I've seen going around TikTok, not from Shein in particular, but like an all-in-one measuring spoon situation. So this was $2. So it's supposed to like, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. So this doesn't even say tablespoons or teaspoons. It says milliliters and grams. So this is not, not good for stupid Americans like me who don't know how to convert that. So already that's a fail. Oops, I hate this color. That's unfortunate. This is terrible. I put so much thumb action into it. I hate this thing. This is garbage. Quality, no. This is a two, right? It's just not very smooth. Credibility, yes, it looks like the website. All right, my bad. Yeah, if you if you zoom, if you look at the close-up pictures, that is my ignorance for just automatically assuming that it would be my measuring system. I've lost credibility. The website didn't do anything wrong. So credibility, fine. Yes, it looks just like the picture. Five mind blowns, I guess. Value, ugh, $2? Yeah, okay, you know what? If you lived in a dorm and you just need, you didn't have a lot of space and you just wanted something compact and easy for the zero times you ever cook in a dorm, I would say for $2, this is like a three mind blowns. But no, I will not be using this. This is a fail for me personally. Bummer. Okay, so this next planter also is $12, but they come in different sizes. So I think this one is actually 13 because they do have like a little baby one. And then they do think they go up even higher than that depending on the size. This is supposed to be like a planet. I think it's so cute. I think it's adorable. It's like white with like black speckled paint on it. So cute, so cute. So cute. But I will say that this iron ring is kind of like how I felt about that hexagon shelf. It's just like is a little bit unfinished. There are a couple smudges on here in terms of the black speckled, but it's just this one spot that I'm seeing kind of like a little bit of speckling. So I think for quality, I'd give this a four out of five. The actual pot itself is again ceramic. It's super sturdy, super cute. It's not like flimsy at all. And this is good quality iron. I just think that it needed to be just polished a little bit more. So four out of five for accuracy and credibility I think it looks exactly the way it does in terms of the design online I was really really excited about this little ring I thought the ring was super cute and I'm really happy that it kind of like does actually look like a planet so accuracy I'd give it a five for sure and then for value I think for value I'd give this a four out of five just because if they're both around the same price you know I would want to feel the same way about them in terms of the quality and the price that I paid but yeah no I really do like it a lot I've forgotten that I ordered this and I'm not sure why I ordered it now that I'm unboxing it, right? It's questionable. It's a questionable choice. This is, no, this is not for you, Benji. Can you take this box? This is one of those moon globe things that are supposed to look like the moon. And I've seen these at places like Urban Outfitters. Amazon has one of these and they look really nice and expensive on those websites, but I'm just gonna, this, doesn't look nice or expensive. Benji thinks it's a toy. That's how not great this looks right at this very moment in time. It has a stand that you're supposed to sit it on and it's supposed to light up. It's battery powered, which I don't know if I have the right batteries. Oh, you guys, this is such a fail because the batteries are these little teeny tiny mini ones. I don't have this battery. Oh no, I may not be able to test this one out fully. I'm sad. I don't know what to say about this, except I'm really sad that I can't fully test this thing out because I don't have batteries. For quality, I'm gonna give it, oh, I think I'm gonna give this one a one. I hate that, I hate that. By just what I'm seeing here, it is, 
it's just not what I was looking for. For credibility, I think the photo looks a lot nicer than what this looks like in person. So I'm gonna give it a two, a two, a two. Again, this is so dependent on what it looks like lit up, which I can't tell. For value, I just, I don't think so. I'm gonna give it a one. I'm, I'm gonna give it a one. It's just, it doesn't feel, it feels like a toy. I'm sorry, Shein. This is like the only thing I hate. Okay, so this is yet another thing that has been going around TikTok. It is a like squeeze bottle that makes the perfect pancake or waffle or crepe. So you put your mix in here, you put water in here. This one comes with a shaker and then it's supposed to squeeze out little bits of pancakes. It's really big. It was $8. I don't think I realized it was gonna be that big. It doesn't feel like the squeezability of it bugs me because it's so big I can barely fit my hand around it. Let's see how well it works. All right, so I just made pancake mix in here. I already see problems with this because this hole is so big. What's the point of the squeeze bottle if the hole is that big? Ah, uh, once the batter kind of thickened up, it definitely, the whole, I guess, is the perfect size for making like pancake cereal. So it turned out like perfectly round, perfectly round little discs that I burnt because I was texting Bridget. He he ha ha. And you can make like a cereal out of quality. It's great. Five mind blown. Credibility looks like, just like the website and value. I give it five. This is a five. I definitely prejudged it incorrectly. I'm sorry, shaker bottle. You didn't deserve that. Good. Hello! <laughs> Don't you think that this looks like an English phone? I think it looks like garbage. Well, you know what? He just said he thinks it looks like garbage. You don't like this? It looks like a child made it. What are you talking about? Like, it's a little lumpy. It's vintage. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a little phone I got. I thought it would be super cute on the bookcase. Neil says it looks like a child made it. <laughs> it's not great. It was kind of like this supposed to be like a vintage -y feel, so I kind of get why they painted it this way, but I don't think it looks as good as it did online, which is the first time I've said that throughout this entire haul. So I will say for quality, I'd give us like a three. For credibility, I'd give us like a two. I just... I think it looked different online if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm wrong, but. And then for value, this one was 13 bucks. So yeah, 13 bucks for this, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a good value, I really don't. I think that if it looked like a real phone, I'd be like, oh, okay. But because it's a sculpture, I would say like at most, I would want to spend on this would be like $8, no more. So I think for value, what I get? What? Did I rate it yet in value? I don't know. Well, if I didn't, then two star eyes. I'm still gonna put it up though. I ordered this really boho chic yarn knit kind of plant holder thingy majig. I've been wanting one of these for forever. They're actually not that expensive. They're about 15 or 20 bucks on Amazon. But I think this is one of the cheaper ones I've seen online. I was shocked at how good it is and how good of a quality it is. It feels super thick, super strong. It looks like handmade, you guys. Like I would spend a lot of money on this. I mean, maybe not a lot of money, but maybe more than I would have spent on this one. If this feels like it's gonna last a really long time. And you take it and you put your little pot in it, by the way, in case you're like, I don't even know what that does. You put a little pot in it and you hang it up and then you look like you know what you're doing as a plant mom, which I don't, because all my plants are pretty much dead. For quality, I gotta go five add to cart. You must add this to cart. If you're in the market for something like this, this is the best value and it is so cute. So for quality, we're going five. For credibility, could I go six? If I could go six, I would go six, but for the purposes of this experiment that we do here, which is very scientific, I'm gonna go five. For value, I'm gonna go five. You can't beat the value on this. Like, you really cannot find anything at this price that looks this good. So let me just style some of these things out, put some things up, and uh, yeah, then we will see how it all looks in my living room. There will be a plant in here, promise, trust. How does she look? Like an orange. Perfect. <laughs> what you got there? A play phone. A play phone. Oh, no. And I see you took this off already. Well, okay. At least the phone's gonna get used, which is good.
Overall, I thought it was a really good haul. There are some things that obviously liked less than others and some things that I will have to DIY a little bit, but I think if you're on a budget and you need some cute stuff for your place or I don't know, like college or things like that, Shein is a really good option. Yeah! I am so impressed. I'm shocked that I'm so impressed. Shein is awesome. I would say overwhelmingly the stuff that I got, it looks as nice as stuff that came from like Target or a department store and a lot of it was a lot cheaper than what you find pretty much anywhere else. Okay, so all in all, I am so impressed Dare I say, I am more impressed with Shein's home section than their clothing section. Like, there's the thing, you can get cheap clothes anywhere. It's really hard to find inexpensive home items. I had such low expectations for the quality of these home items, but I think you can get a lot of bang for your buck in the home section. Big win for Shein in the kitchen. Shein, kitchen, big win. Mm.